I did party boats for uh, a year and a half. A guy came up to me at a comedy show and was like, hey, if you're looking for work, I think you would be a great party boat captain. And I said, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I was born to do this. Yeah. My brother, it was great. You get a text message and it's like, your captain is named Dean. He'll be at the dock at uh, 1230. Yeah. And people would text you like, hey, how do we see you? What does the boat look like? You'll know. And I'm... <laughs> I would just send him a, a, a deal of Danny McBride coming up on a, on a jet ski. Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Tummy Time. Welcome to Tummy Time. Welcome to Tummy Time. I'm Neil. <laughs> I'm Justin. And today we have a very special guest. He's a stand-up comedian in Austin, Texas. He was a finalist in the Funniest Person in Austin contest. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. That is true. It's, it's a very funny loser. Dean Stanfield. What's up, dude? What would you say when I talked over you? Uh, uh, first loser. First oh, loser. Yeah. Dylan oh, and Carlino second. Beat you were me. second. I was second place. Oh, wow. Dylan Carlino is a hard man to beat. Brother, sure I, when I walked out of that room, like I, I crushed. I did. Yeah. I did very well. And I, uh, I got off so cocky, like walking out of the cock like, of the roost, dude. Like walking, walking, like walking through the green man. room and then walking back out. And by the time I got into the green room and then out, uh, I went and smoked like half a cigarette. And by the time I walked, I walked past the wall where the where the show's going on. You could hear him crushing oh, through no. the walls. He just disregarded what you had already done. He just he said, forget about Dean Stanfield. Took it. Michael Day Day just like drove it up that hill. Yeah. And then and then I took the baton, ran it up the hill. Oh yeah. And then Dylan just like exploded the whole. He built an rain. airplane on top of the hill and then fucking Shit. drove that bitch down. Damn, yeah. dude, it's. it's that, yeah. that is crushing it, dude. That's the, awesome. The That's queen awesome. of mean is what I've been trying to call him. Yep, <laughs> the queen of mean, dude. Exactly. <laughs> that I used to be Dylan. Lisa Lampanelli's but thing, but uh, now it's Dylan, Dylan Carlino. Carlino. <laughs> As it rightfully won. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Took the tiara. Yeah. So you weren't mad about that. You you completely no. Understood. He's one of my. He's, he's the a one. Very good friend, and it's it's. I mean, it's. I would much rather one of my friends. Yeah. Win a thing over me than yeah. you know and Just earned like not earned. yeah not I mean, without a doubt. Good. I went up there in the beginning and was like, I was already just, I was on a tear of shows and uh, super confident. I walked in, I was like, I'm going to riff off the top on this one thing. And I got out there, riffed, and it just like to dead silence. And I've got the tape. I haven't released it yet, but I just, I like look at the crowd and I go, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this was during the finals? This was during the oh, finals. Shit. And I was just like, I'd been crushing with this croc story. And I was like, I know that's what I want to do. It's at the perfect amount of time. I just need 30 seconds in the beginning to just like, just mess around. So I was like, yeah. do I do an old joke or do I just go up with the confidence of this thing that I think is funny, which is a shit idea. <laughs> but that's where my like ego was. Oh, so you, right. you did something that you'd never done before I, I, for I 30 think, seconds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were playing Leonard Skinner and I was like, <sighs> feeling that. I, yeah. I was like, <laughs> dude, I sound like I fucked to this or something. I can't. Yeah. Re I, yeah. It's something like that. And then I riffed off that. And it didn't work, and I was like, "Whoops, this isn't a good, good way to start no. the set." <laughs> did they laugh at that? They laughed at that. Okay, and there you go. And then and you then loosened up and did the. From then on out, it was. Oh yeah, I you told the alligator story. wrestling story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Congrats on being the uh, the first, first loser, loser of the Austin. Did you get the No Fear Austin. shirt? Huh? Did you get the No Fear shirt? Oh no, what is that? What are you talking oh, about? The, the No Fear sh No Fear used to have the saying that said second place is first loser." Oh, so I think they should do that for the funniest person. They just give you a No that Fear because he gets the cloak and everything, yeah. and then the second place has to. I would the No Fear shirt. We need to. I'd go <laughs> yeah, back you, and take that picture. Absolutely. Yeah, you absolutely should. Absolutely. Uh, so, anyways, I want to give. Speaking of, you know, you're a, you're a man that's uh, from the country a little bit, right? Uh, a lot of bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me what you think about this. Would you ever do something like this? Tony, what are we doing? How this here's gonna... the buck chug. Oh no. For the listeners, there's a deer hanging up, and there's a guy that's about to do a buck chug. His uh, this guy's friend opens up a couple Bud Lights, and uh, the guy is going down. So they've the... they've they've pulled out all the uh, all the insides of the right. yeah. and so when you do that, you create like a uh, just a cavity, a cavity in there, and a funnel, as it were. Yeah. A big it's old a good funnel. funnel. Yeah. It's a good funnel. Oh, he's going straight through the mouth, dude. <laughs> and the nose. Let's not forget that. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Mostly the nose, <laughs> brother. <laughs> what do you think I about mean, this? I mean, a a <laughs> that looks like a. I'm gonna break up with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, up with you. <laughs> those moments, I think I've had more than anything. Um, what, just like trading barbs with your uh, your girl? Oh, I mean, I've had plenty of women break up with me over shit like that. <laughs> oh, um, wow. Just just doing you've had shit? last straws? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've I've come, I, I I hate breaking up with girls. Yeah. It's like, it's the worst, and I'm a, I'm a good guy. 
Yeah. I'm a dirt bag, but I'm a good same, guy. Same. And I hate, I just hate that process and they'll always talk me out of it, you know? Yeah. Like we get into it and I go, hey, I think we should break up. And they're like, why? And I'm like, I just fucking don't like you anymore. Yeah. yeah. But you can't say that. But you can't say that. Or or my problem is the women, women try to change me. Uh-huh. And uh-huh, then they say, uh-huh. oh, I'm fine with all these things. But then they start to just like chip That's things yeah, off yeah. of you. They start to weasel. They're not that fine with it. Then they're not that fine with it. And they're, they're not honest with themselves. You know? Exactly. And they're like, yeah, it's it's nice. I can see I can see wanting to date me. <laughs> okay, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Why I'm, not? I'm pulling my gun out in traffic. You know, yeah. you're going to need the... <laughs> That's the kind no. of guy he is. <laughs> no. But there's just like, I think a lot of it in my early 20s, uh, late teens and early 20s was just getting blackout drunk and making decisions that are dumb. Anything like this? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Lots of this stuff. Lots of this stuff, dude. <laughs> but as you get older, I mean, how that, not, I mean that's pretty yeah. gross. Yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> that's absolutely. He's missing his front teeth. But well, yeah. well, you know, you got to clear away from like, the beard, uh, dude. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, he did something stupid to get rid of the teeth, and then now he's doing this. I just never, we just never thought about it, you know? No, I don't think yeah. most people thought about doing this. Yeah. Um, but how, how old are you now? You're like... I just turned 30. Oh, hell yeah. So I'm right 30 on. years old. Nice. So you, are you doing less stupid shit now that you're getting in your 30s? or? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah. I mean, that's the natural. I mean, I'm still things. doing stupid shit. I'm just like mitigating my risks. Exactly. You know? That's nice, yeah. And you're I'm not black. When I'm blackout, when I get blackout drunk, I get like, you can convince me to do anything. Yeah. Like that's the kind You of, get naked, don't you? Get naked a lot. <laughs> I've got a lot of naked stories at Texas a and and uh, Texas a and Kingsville and Corpus. Oh, wow. Um, have seen my... I've seen my Your pasty, penis. yeah, Your yeah. pasty, pasty butt penis. cheeks, oh. and my penis. And Your uh, pink, penis. I, is it pink? I used to just like, I just, yeah, I, parties pink. and stuff. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, uh, pink. It's tan. Like I'm. It's oh okay. Well, oh, it's oh, yeah. Hey, it's it's seen sun. Yeah, you yeah saw, it's you, seen sun. Seen a lot of sun. sun. <laughs> I used to like pull it out on, uh, like, have you heard like uh, when you're playing beer pong? Yeah. And you have like the distractionary thing. Oh hey. Easy. I used to do the where you put your balls in your hand and uh-huh. then you 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 turn around. And then when they go to swing, you you just go like this and you, you turn into your balls at the end of your hand. Yeah. You know, you go like, Whoa, or put them on the table behind the cups or something. Right, right. <laughs> and that's not that's not okay to do at a party. Um, no. I think it's lo- I mean, I think as long as it's not hard, you're kind of good. <laughs> that is a good, yeah. You yeah. know what? I think I might have followed that rule. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like a whiskey you dick, think? you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Although it would be really distracting if you had a boner and it was sitting out of the table. I did do this one on time. Top of the cup. There's this song. <laughs> there's this song called uh, if it's, uh, "Playboys of the Southwestern World." It's by Billy uh, or um, uh, Blake Shelton. Okay. Okay. And uh, there's a there's a song part in it where the guy uh, takes off all of his clothes. He's butt naked. He puts a sombrero on and he runs down the hallway. And uh, and so at Turner Hall. At uh, this was either Turner or Bishop at Texas A&M Kingsville, one night I uh, I just got butt naked. I don't. I, I wake up the next morning and people are telling me about it, but I got butt naked and I took a Viagra. Oh. <laughs> And then I put a I put a sombrero a sombrero on and I ran all the way down like there's the floor like the third floor yeah. and I just like ran all the way around just just completely just hard hard as shit just hard as a hard as a rock wow dude with a sombrero on with a sombrero you didn't on think butt to naked just hang it I did a couple times of course, hey! well because then you wait in the Thank doorway you, yeah. you come in the doorway and you don't want to be l- no lube. you don't be lube, dude in case You're there's women in there and you yeah. take your hand off and, and it then just you go stays. Ah! <laughs> and then you pull it back off and run down the hallway <laughs> was there it's, a video of this. No, well, I was lucky that uh, this is like 2011. Okay, uh, before it came, and so became not, too I mean, people had iPhones, but they didn't think to do it. But they just they're they're they weren't on their phones right. immediately. They were in the moment. They, they were, were the appreciating moment. what and you were doing. And if you keep running long enough, yeah. then you know they're they're gonna get ideas. To well, pull Rice up. University does the naked run where you put uh, bubbles on you or you put uh, oh. what, shaving cream. Sure. And Mayonnaise. then everybody stands on the, in the hallways. Oh, uh, with the water guns. With water guns, and they That's try to squirt fun. it all off. That's hilarious. Do they still do that? I, I I hope so. I hope the I hope the liberals haven't taken that away from us. Yeah, yet. I hope there's still tradition. <laughs> uh, well, 2012 was a long time ago. That was, dude. Yeah. So it's more than 10 years now. Fuck. Sure yeah. Is. So they. I don't think they do it anymore, man. Unfortunately. We should start it back. Let's just go. Let's go right now. Let's what are they gonna do? They're gonna arrest us all? Yeah, <laughs> all of us, all three of us. No way. Bigger problems. There's yeah. enough comedians in Austin where you could do a run and get like a couple hundred people out there naked. Do a mm. comedian naked run through the quad down to the gymnasium. <laughs> <laughs> just go to all the clubs downtown. Yeah, that'd, that'd be a good idea. But I'm not. Uh, so I'm not getting blacked out drunk anymore and doing like that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, which is nice. That it's is healthier. Nice. It's healthier. It's way healthier. It's, and, and you look back and you're just like, man, I was just. I mean, it was funny. But I'm just, I mean, I'm just like an asshole. 
yeah. that got right. drunk and yeah. ran around naked. Like, I yeah. don't want I want people to, you know, see me and be like, oh, that's the guy that fucking. That's the naked dude. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, there's some people like, so like someone like Burt Kreischer loves being, he revels in the fact that that's his reputation, but you yeah. don't want to have that. You no. don't want to just be a party boy. You're, you're more than just being a, uh, well, I mean, a crazy. I, I did. I did. Yeah. And now I'm on the other side of it. And uh, I mean, I'll still, I'll still, I still drink. Yeah. Um, I, I've slowed down a lot. Oh yeah. Just cause going on the road and traveling and doing stuff. You just can't hard consistently. It's hard on your body, man. Hard on your body. So, yeah. And like, no yeah. sleep. Seriously. I quit drinking like in my early twenties. I can't imagine what what a hangover is like at thirty six. Not that bad. Okay, <laughs> just drink some damn water. <laughs> exactly. You listen. Just drink some water, dude. Get <laughs> over it. Walk it off, dude. Yeah. Walk it off. Walk it off. You drink some water. If you th yeah, if you if you tell yourself, I think that's the problem with hangovers. Yeah. I had them in like if I if I had the time to feel sorry for myself and and like get up and start drinking water and start that pity party, it hurt all day. But yeah. there was plenty of times that we would drink till two in the morning and then get up at seven in the morning, go to work. And those days I'd get a two coffees in me and 30 minutes of work and I would feel amazing. Oh, man. Until the end of the day and then you're super tired, you go home and sleep and that's the best sleep. I mean, you could, it's like going to the beach sleep. Yeah. You know, like after the, you're done playing at the beach. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good sleep. That is maybe I should sleep. start, maybe I should relapse. I'll think about it. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Yeah, you heard it, mom. Idea. If I relapse, it's, uh, it's Uncle Dean. It's Uncle Dean. <laughs> Dude, speaking. <laughs> what is this? Listen to me. Is your... <laughs> my bad, mom. Ma. Yeah, my sorry, mom. Ma. He probably shouldn't have listened to me. <laughs> oh, it sounds pretty funny. Am I a fucking doctor? <laughs> I want to get yeah. that beach sleep. I got dude. four different colors on. Right <laughs> yeah, <now>. Seriously. <laughs> uh, speaking of the beach, dude, would you consider yourself salt life or no? I grew up in. Uh, I finished high school in Los Fresnos, Texas. Where's that? Okay. Which is right by South Padre. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not too far from where you. Yeah, I, I grew Corpus. up in Corpus. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Spent a lot of time in uh, more. Oh, you like, went to Tamu, CC, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Partied a lot. Oh, yeah, there. for sure. Yeah, uh, a lot of learning. Kingsville, you, you. Oh yeah, yeah. I know Kingsville pretty intimately. Yeah, so yeah. Turner Hall was the was the hall that we used to do the Hula Cow Girl uh -huh, uh -huh. and the Boner I've been, Run I've been in, and the Boner Run. Exactly, uh, classic. So I've been I've probably been hammered more at uh, the Luau than I have maybe anywhere else. Mm, mm -hmm. What is that? A, is that a club? Is that a tiki bar or something? Yeah, kind of. It's like a. It's like a little dance hall, and it's like it's the closest bar to the college. Oh, okay. So it's like it's within walking distance. So all of the. I yeah, mean, everybody's over there. But f I mean, fights all the time. I took a. Of course. I took somebody's car one time. <laughs> what? Do you, do you remember the parking lot? Yeah, Have you ever been vaguely, to Luau? Yeah, vaguely. Okay, so there's the parking lot that's right next to the building, and then across the street they had overflow parking. Right. And there wasn't a whole lot of people there, and some dude left his like Mustang out front running and like uh -huh. ran inside to grab some girls and yeah and one of my buddies was like dean fucking hop in <laughs> what I am mean, i supposed close, to not do it close yeah. to back close to blackout drunk hop in the car <laughs> and i drive it just to the overflow parking lot and in my head i was like i'm just gonna park it over there and yeah. then come back and then throw the keys on the ground where it was uh -huh. and then let him like freak out uh, yeah and then see i'm like it'll be a fun prank right and i got over there and it had been raining, and so it started to sink, <gasps> and so I just like started. What started to, to sink? The car. The car. It was oh, wet because yeah. yeah. it's just a, it's, it's just like an overflow parking lot field. Yeah. It started to fucking it started to fucking dig down, and then I just started ripping it, and it just started. And it's an open field, so I just started ripping it and just like driving around, <laughs> acting like an asshole, circles and shit. There's nothing to hit. Yeah. But it's just getting his car dirty. <laughs> Absolutely. And then I realized I do a couple of spins, and then I'm like, ah, fuck it. This is that way. I've had my fun. And I parked it, <laughs> and then I opened the door. And as I opened the door, everybody's across the street going, fuck, <laughs> oh, fuck. And the dude's coming at, oh, the dude's coming oh, out. shit, he's pissed. He's pissed, and uh, I just fucking, I mean, the keys are still in it. I just opened the door, and I just, right. and I fucking <laughs> took off that way. <laughs> and he chased me for a, for a hot minute. I never saw him, but yeah. I, was, I was gone, dude. Yeah, gone. dude. <laughs> that, was, that was the last you heard of that guy? That was the last we heard of that guy. Kingsville yeah. was... That I mean that's that kind of shit happened all the time. Yeah, that's amazing, dude. I yeah. wish I never I never experienced any of that. But I guess I avoided that kind of stuff. Yeah, you I just sure like drinking my uh, my room by myself, and you yeah. can't really have a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, <laughs> we would start we would start doing that, and then we would end like, up at the bar. Yeah, yeah, you, you go you go get drink. drunk. Yeah, because they wouldn't let you drink in the bar if you were. They'd let you in, but they wouldn't let you drink. Oh, if, if you're, you're underage. If you're underage. Yeah, uh -huh. and if you showed that you were a little hammered, but. By they like, don't really give a shit. By like midnight, they're like, as long as you're not drinking in here, yeah, you can pay a twenty-five dollar cover charge and then go. Take your money. Yeah, and so, <laughs> yeah, 
Good party. Have fun. <laughs> Got some but I grew up next to Los Fresnos, and I dated a lot of Salt Life girls. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. What is a Salt Life girl like? Um, they, like uh, tuna. they're dad's fish, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, they are, um, they're, I mean, they're stellar ladies, man. Of course. They got good dude. class, they got good values. Salt uh, of the earth type people. And they got a slower pace of life, you they know? a slower pace of life. They're, they're very okay with, they're used to their dads getting drunk and going fishing. Yeah, and that's and nice. so they're like, wow, oh, it's, and then you can go with them. There's yeah. plenty of times that I went on dates where I'd take a girl fishing. Yeah. And that is, I mean brother is that yeah. that's the that's the pinnacle of that's the i mean if, especially if they like fishing now you're just on a boat in the middle of the water just relax you see yeah, yeah. Oh you get to tell God. them to shut up so that uh they don't scare the fish away <laughs> what the hell dude his idea of fish is different. Life to, yeah. he's like trying to have <laughs> he's, he's betting dude. these ladies out in the middle of the water yeah, yeah. i'm just saying you're just over the shut top up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the fish they can hear you shut up i'm just saying sometimes they get yappy on the fish. boat dude or they might gonna be making noise girls not salt life they know their place their dads have already yelled at them Okay. They're pre-yelled at. Yeah, their dads did train them for they, uh, they something like you, at. Dean. Yeah, they're pre-yelled at. <laughs> pre-yelled at. That's the ones you want to get. She's mad at her dad, not me. Exactly. Uh, hell yeah, exactly. dude. You're the nice. That's guy why she's dating me. But she is making a lot of noise on that fucking boat. Uh, oh, so oh shit, dude. Sometimes. <laughs> you ever rock the boat, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, dude, why would I even ask a question like that, dude? It's that fun. seems. I did party boats for uh, a year and a half. What is that? The cap. As a captain. Oh, that's so cool. I, you Lake do Travis. look like a captain. You would be a great captain Absolutely. out of a, of a yeah. boat. That's how I got the job. Yeah. I, uh, a guy came up to me at a comedy show and was like, I was talking about being out of work. And uh, I just quit the teams. And I was like just talking about it. And uh, The teams? The, I went, I the worked teamsters. for Yeah, teamsters. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, and then uh, he was like, hey, if you're looking for work, I think you would be a great party boat captain. And I said, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I was born to do this. Yeah. Uh, brother, it was great. It's to like watch you know me. The people's faces, because you get a text message and it's like, your captain is named Dean. He'll be at the dock at uh, 1230. Yeah. And people would text you like, hey, how do we see you? What does the boat look like? You'll know. And I'm... <laughs> Uh, you're dumb bitch <laughs> I would just send him a, a, a deal of Danny McBride coming up on a, on a jet ski oh yeah for sure yeah with a dental dam <laughs> wait did you, did you really send him the mean yeah. meme Perfect. all the time and then people it just gets people in the mood yeah, yeah they go okay party. this guy's gonna have fun immediately it's a laugh they get on the boat and then they respect me because that's the thing like you if you can get somebody to laugh like right away and then you as soon as they get on the boat you like you're like hey guys we're here to have a good time like y'all get drunk, let's party. Where do you want to go? Yeah, it, there's like a weird, like awkward time when people get on the boat and they're like, "What are the rules? What can I do? What can I not do?" But if you just like break that ice immediately, you can start talking to them, and then it's like way less awkward. Right. Yeah. yeah. But you still tell them the thing. rules, right? Yeah. Okay. You still yeah. tell them the rules. But you say, but pretty that being said, yeah. get fucking hammered, please. Yeah. Get drunk. That's what you're here for. It's yeah. what you're paying I'm for. I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm not drinking, and I that, set that, that president's much, quote. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, that I'm just much. <laughs> so I, I would drink. Wanna... I would drink with them afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like there's a out. there's a there's a couple bars on the lake, and I'm like, hey, if you want to drink, look, let's hit that bar afterwards because I'm better at drinking and driving than I am boating and driving. <laughs> and I go uh, just something yeah. like that, you know. And uh, <laughs> and most of the time is fine. There's there are times when there was like bachelorette parties. Oh no. And it's like oh, I can only say no to yeah, a, a, a redhead. Jello and shots blue so eyes, many times. So many yeah, times. Um, partying. Hell yeah, man! I thought you were gonna say that. Uh uh, you were gonna complain about how loud they get on the in the bachelor. You know, you might have to t tell these girls to <laughs> shut up again. But never mind. <laughs> no, I don't. Sorry, not, I don't obsessed. tell women to shut yeah. up, dude. dude. He's not in the mood to tell them to shut up. <laughs> Somebody else with, is. I'm obsessed with Massage telling women to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> just on I'm you. just a little obsessed, dude, with yeah. telling That's people to shut kink. up. That's his kink. His kink is telling women on to shut up. It's fun, and if you want to end a relationship, it's the best. It it's one of the best moves. It's the fastest way. Yeah. If you really, if she's just not taking no for an answer. Second fastest. Calm down. Bro. Shut up and calm down. Hey, this one. Hey, yeah, absolutely. You snap at them, dog. I've had. A, oh yeah, they bro, love it God. when you snap at yeah. them. Yeah, I've had a. I've had a girl fucking stab uh, you uh, with a with a fork. <laughs> she was eating hot Cheetos with cheese Jesus in the valley. Christ. And a Mexican woman, you don't snap your fingers no, no. at. Oh, She's already God. ready. She was just mad, 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 and I was like, fucking, just give me a second. And I, I just meant to say, give me a second. But you did it. But I did the snap on the way up. I was like, give me a second, and she oh. went. She was oh, she cleaned off the cheese. Bath. She fucking cleaned out the cheese and fucking stuck it in my shit, side, dude. dude. It had hot Cheeto on it. Yeah, it oh, burned shit. bad. Yeah, dude. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> okay. Well, this is good to know. You they know? run hot. They run hot. They run very hot. So yeah. don't snap at them. Don't say shut up. I guess that's why you're there. Them out. You're there for the fuego. No, anyway, Mexican so. women, you can tell them to shut up. Oh, they, <laughs> they like that? <laughs> you well, can't snap your fingers at them. Do not snap. Don't snap. Okay. They hate that shit. Damn, dude. I'm getting an education.
Did, have you ever been on a cruise? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm uh, stereotyping you because I just assumed you'd, you've been but on a cruise. Sometimes it's stereotypes are true. <laughs> well, tell me sometimes what you think about this. I'm a cruise ship worker. This is the disgusting act people partake in on our boats. Uh huh. What do you Done think it is? Something about ice cream. Oh, well, oh, what do I think the disgusting act is? Yeah. I'll tell you the, the two things that disgusted me. Yes, please. Uh, was uh, fucking in the hot tub. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a couple people. That. Sometimes I caught just... people doing that a lot. Wait, at the 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 community hot tubs? Yeah, yeah. Like they'd be <laughs> out in the, it'd be like two in the morning and I'd be stumbling around and I'd be right. like, oh, a hot tub sounds amazing. Oh, and, I see. Just and I had smoked a little pot. Sure. Uh, we had just stopped in Jamaica and somebody figured out how to sneak some back nice. on. Nice. We had smoked a little pot. So I was like, I get like social awareness goes away a little bit and there was two people in the tub and there's like four of us walking out of the uh the little nightclub we were going to and then we saw the deck we're like oh that would be perfect let's fucking hot tub it still in our swim trunks we get up there and we see the couple in there and she's like facing him and they're making out oh yeah and i'm like in my head i'm like she'll just quit making out yeah they're just making out yeah, they're just they're making just out <laughs> and so i hop in the hot tub what's up hey. and I'm like, what's up dude and then like my buddies are behind me and they're like dean let's go and I'm like, why? why and they dude? never stopped fucking. <laughs> like, act like I wasn't there. And I had to like, it had to like take me a second. I was like, God, ow. Oh, oh ah, my bad. Hey, my no, bad. It's not your bad. Hey, can I get shotgun? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you're not using that <laughs> one, <laughs> you'll use the jets. Let yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you mind if I turn on? I need to exfoliate real quick. Yeah, no, here's yeah, the yeah. thing. They they are into public sex. Yeah, that's, that's why, why they, they were doing. That's why it. they didn't stop. That's why they're fucking in there in the. That made it hotter for them. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe they were just so locked. Locked in, they didn't even see you, dude. Oh, wow, Which is dude. crazy to be so so locked in to not see. It's actually beautiful. Yeah, that would actually be. And then he's just looking out into the the vast. Ah, oh, dude, stars ocean. for days because there's no pollution, oh, light pollution, dude. It's gorgeous. So cool. It's a, so it sounds kind of nice to it fuck in a, in a jacuzzi then. Yeah, I, in my experience, hot tub sex is usually not. No, great. it's sloppy. It's, it's very. Yeah, you're like anytime you're you try to like get some good grip on the on the bottom of the tub. You like hurt your feet. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, and you gotta like keep that while also while like keeping yeah. a boner and. I overheat. Around. I overheat. Uh, so I run hot and then if I'm in a hot tub too, I'm like I gotta get out. I guess I've never tub. tried. And then when you get out of the hot tub, mm -hmm. like it's like, yeah, I mean your your junk's hanging a little lower. You know, you feel the balls like balls are two knees. Yeah, it's, it's like let's let's go out and fuck outside the hot tub, but then because then there's like that film that kind of yeah, gathers. It's nasty. And it's like, and they're shoving up whatever's in there in her. Yeah, I know. That's how they get yeasties. Yeah, you know, I think, yeah, you do a little fork, like kiss, get really turned on under in the, the hot tub. Under the, under oh, the little yeah, hand little stuff. Hand yeah, stuff. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. go go somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. That's go to the, the playground off appropriate first. thing to do. Wash go to the cruise ship playground and do yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I don't know. The shuffleboard? Guess so what did she do? Uh, all it is is uh, walking around barefoot. Oh, I did that. Constantly. That's what I'm saying, dude. As a Salt Life person and someone, I'm like, I'm not Salt Life yet, but eventually I will be. Yeah. The cruise is the beach. Mm -hmm. You get to walk out with no with no shoes on. What do you think about this? Yeah, I mean, walk without any shoes. It's disgusting, though. <laughs> Dude, Spencer got on to me about this. We went to his house yesterday. He's a prissy bitch, though. He is a prissy. <laughs> Thank Fuck you. you, Spencer Cavins. You prissy ass <laughs> bitch. You, do. Everybody is on Spencer's dick no! right now. He is a fucking prissy ass bitch. What do you say? I I wear Crocs often. Yeah. And I was wearing Crocs that day. We went outside to smoke a cigarette. And I'd take the cigarette, uh, and I just walk on outside. I don't, I don't put my shoes on. He takes time to put his shoes on. He comes outside, and then we're like halfway through the smoke of the cigarette. He's like, "Dude, you're barefoot." Yeah. And I'm like, "Yeah, we're smoking a cigarette." And he goes, "He goes, let me see your feet." Oh no! And he makes me. He, I show him my feet, and he goes, oh, "That's disgusting, dude. We have to like, we're going back inside." And he went all the way upstairs, grabbed me a pair of socks, came down. Gave them to me outside. I had to put them on outside and then come in the house. <laughs> wait, wait. Do y'all live together? No. Oh, no, oh wait. No, is no. it his place? It's his place. Yeah. Oh, he's just like kind of a germ freak then. Yeah, but it's like you should have made him wash your feet. Bro, it was like two. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Yeah, that's like what Jesus. Jesus would do. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. He thinks yeah, he's Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Spencer, you acting yeah. like Jesus washed my fucking feet? <laughs> yeah, that's what I got. I wish I would have said that. <laughs> you think you're fucking Jesus? That's he's fun. one of my best friends. He's I love fun. him. He's, he's awesome, fun. dude. Except, I mean, you gotta, you gotta lighten Loosen up. Loosen up, about man. The, Let the me track feet. a little dirt in. Come Bro, on. I, I spilled like a little. Uh, we were eating uh, Indian food, and I spilled a couple of grains of rice. <laughs> On his carpet, and he lost his shit. Wow! And, and made ma made me clean it up. <laughs> now, he rubbed your nose in it, <laughs> brother. He he would have if he could have. Uh, and then we went. He made me eat in the in the dining room. And now, anytime anybody's over, because we'll have like game night or watch movies. Yeah. 
if we get food, he lets everybody else eat and, and he makes me eat in the dining room. <laughs> is, he serious? is he serious about this or is it like a bit? Brother, 100% serious. Wow, wow. dude. I mean, it might be a bit he's just like going for. Right. He's, it's but a joke. It's driven he'll by. Because like, I'll be like, we're going to eat burgers and everybody else is eating in the living room. He goes, Dean. Go to you the know, diner. You go on your, your channel, Dean. And I'm like, bro, I'm not doing that. Don't do that in front of these people. Yeah. And he's like, then get up. But you're not eating in my living room. You spilled last time. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, you lost dude. your chance. I lost my privilege. Yeah. But two grains of rice. I know. You could have just picked Dean, them up. Dean, was it called two it. grains of rice? Might have been a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was and was there a little, little curry? More. Was there curry? some curry on the and was, rice? And is the carpet white? Okay. Dean. Okay. Those things are <laughs> <joking>. <laughs> All right, Spencer, Spencer, take it back. You are a pretty bitch. I might have tried to rub it in. <laughs> You're trying to hide it? <laughs> Just so you don't have to pick it up, you hiding it? <laughs> With your dirty feet? <laughs> 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 it's right. amazing that he's I, as good a friend as he is to me. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's fun. Um, damn near best friends. <laughs> no, 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 I get it. So, are you a? Did, what are you, what's your relationship with Jimmy Buffett, brother? Man? One of my favorite artists of all time. I have I can, really, res, I can sing almost every song that he does. They're my wow. go-to karaoke. I only know the hits, but I I respect him and I respect the lifestyle. Yeah, uh, I respect. Made it when he was old. The brand, How old yeah. was he? I think he was in his late thirties. Okay, wow. when he finally got his first, uh, when he got his first start. I know he was. He's been young and doing music forever, but he almost gave up. Right, was just like playing in Florida, being happy. I mean, in, his book is amazing. What's it his called? Life story. It's got to have a cool I name. Think it's Margaritaville. Okay, uh, Jimmy Buffett, or no, uh, or it's Son of a Son of a Sailor. He has like two or three. Oh, gotcha. He's my a, favorite he a one. Of well, though, and the the trip to Margaritaville can soon be made on the Jimmy Buffett Highway. They're changing one of the names. Uh, or they're giving him a memorial highway in, hey. in Florida. Why As not? they should. As they should. As they should. Good man, Jimmy Buffett, RIP. Now, I will say this. Someone is selling their house, which apparently it's a Margaritaville-inspired house. It goes on sale. It's uh, $879,000. Let me just show you. That okay. is not, dude, that is not that bad. Oh, for, for a Margaritaville the house? And this is in California, I, too. I wish me, I had. Oh, that now, sucks. This is like a... I'll show you the house, dude. If I had $500,000, I might make a bid. Although, when you look at the house, you'll you'll change your tune. It's just oh, a it's normal... Just a hold house. on. Wait, wait. Where the fuck is it? Okay. I'll just... This is the backyard. They start with the backyard. This Perfect. Is, Love Which that. is cool. Looks... On the, this is the house, so... Oh. And look, that's nice. Oh. This is the backyard. It's a Margaritaville. Got solar uh, panels. You got solar panels. It looks nice at the back. But look, I mean... The, what what is Jimmy? What is Margaritaville about this? Look inside. As long oh. as there, as long as there's no like noise ordinance, I'd still buy it. You still buy it just for the backyard? For for the for that to be my vacation home? Yeah. Okay, I just was. <laughs> this is what I was hoping it was. Something but like this. But when I get money, I, yeah. oh, there you go. That like was, this yeah. is how you do margarita. Listen. This is the interior design that Jimmy Buffett would appreciate. God, I can't wait to get money, dude. <laughs> What are you dude, doing? Dude, what are you doing? What's the first thing you're doing when you get money? <laughs> oh my god! When you get money, what's the very first? Yeah, what's thing? the first thing you're gonna do with money? Dude? I'm buying a race car. Oh, oh yeah. shit! Yeah, I'm buying a. I don't know, probably be a. I'm. I'm gonna start with like a. Um, I probably get a yeah. no. I probably get a Porsche GT4. If Ooh, I get money, yeah, money, yeah, I'm going that is that. money, money. One of the Caymans or, or one of the GT4s, um, and I'm gonna run it in Porsche Sprint. Uh, and then second thing, I'm going to buy me a um, a destination house like that. Might be in Corpus. I might buy it in South Padre. I might buy it in Florida. I don't yeah. know. Louisiana, maybe. And I'm going to deck it out. It's going to be a hunting and uh, just like a vacation stay house. Love it. Nice. Barn Dominium. Wait, so if you had a billion dollars, would you still buy your house in a place like Corpus Christi? Yeah. I love that about you, dude. You're not yeah. like this. You're not one of these like- South the, of France. South of France. Or like fucking the Riviera Ibiza. bullshit. Oh, yeah. Fuck am no. I got to do down yeah, there? Yeah, exactly. I want to go with the salty dogs down in yeah. yeah. Corpus Christi. I can talk to them. You can talk to them. I love yeah. a sleepy beach town, dude. Ah, the best. Don't even Port get a. me started. Port A. Port A, a is sleepy my beach grandpa, town. My grandpa owned a- uh, a houseboat out there mm -hmm. and uh well a houseboat and a one of the risacas one of the uh -huh. like inlets so his boat like boat slipped straight on the water wow did he live and there yeah, that's where he lived he, that's he awesome. had a that's so veterinarian good. practice in port a and so yeah. he would work three days a week and then he would fish three days a week. oh living he had the life the, the life wasting away on jerry in margaritaville dude speaking of margaritaville there's a there's a rental house in no it's in rockport not port a that's like has three airstreams, and one of them is Margaritaville themed. Oh, nice. See, and I bet yeah. it looks more it like looks this. It looks way better than this. The, the that whole other backyard house, that basic out. ass house. Yeah, that's the other like house is the Margaritaville yeah. house. Yeah, dude, this is what I'm talking about. Dean's buying a franchise. Dude, it's a billion dollars. I 
Very legitimately, that's not a bad idea. No, that's a that's a check cashing business, dude. I would do Dean's own like casino. I'd make a float around bar outside riverboat. Would it look like this a little oh, bit riverboat. Man. I could run my own man. riverboat. What do you think about this setup, dude? I actually <laughs> fucking love this shit, dude. This is amazing. Levels, dude. It's the shit. Yeah, <laughs> it's cold though. <laughs> if I if I ever open an Airbnb, it's gonna be something like this, brother. <laughs> you know, it's this just, would be a really Dolly cool Parton, Airbnb dude. for a bunch of friends and stuff. Yeah, that would yeah. be tight, dude. Each of them get their own boat. Put a little out. lake out in front of that. Oh, you yeah. got a that's money, lake. dude. Beautiful. <laughs> and they each have their own pontoon boat. That yes, you can tie up. For the listeners, this is a bunch of trailers stacked up on top of each other, uh, but in a very cool way. Yeah, it seems like it's structurally nice. sound. They're those little lake cabins that people used to, I mean, Lake Travis used to be full of those things. Mm -hmm. It's something that like went out, when you build like Money. a vacation home, they used to just like, used to, that thing they probably cost $500. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. do, do you, like it's you, not even a trailer. Problem. I don't yeah. even think those can, those they got no wheels. wheels. Yeah, no. You, do you, you, can you s imagine the smell? You know the smell of like one of these, like uh, these places yeah. that's like the, just old trailer smell at the beach. Uh huh. It's that like a musty, nostalgic, musty. musty Mildewy Mothballs almost, sometimes. but like not quite. No, not yeah, not, it's not tempered, mildewy. Tempered by the salt. They just haven't turned on yeah. the AC in a while, right. and it's. <laughs> but it's, it's in the, great. That it's, memory yeah. smells like my grandma. I love yeah. it, dude. Did any of uh, any of your grandparents smoke in the house? Yeah, uh, my my grandparents. I know Papa did when he was uh, when he was younger, but he had quit by the time I came around. But That's my nice. grandpa, my damn Paul, had a uh, smoked on his porch. A pipe and cigarettes. Oh, oh, pipe man! Like every every hour that he was out there, yeah. Just and he sat out there. Light the next one with the other one. Yeah, yeah. He would just chain. I mean, chain smoke kind of, but uh, he would smoke a pipe, and oh, so that's cool. I want to smoke just a pack pipe. A bowl. Yeah, yeah. I quit nicotine, but I really want to smoke a pipe. And that, in fact, uh, I'm getting triggered by your uh, tasty little cigarettes you right should, there. Dude. Ooh, Fuck! American don't spirits. do that, dude. You're delicious. Gonna, oh my delicious. god! Hey, I've been trying to quit. I've been trying to quit smoking for a little while. Yeah, um, that's tough, dude. How's the only reason. Well, the only reason I quit. Or thought about quitting was because I had a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. and she kept and nagging you about it, didn't no, she? No. I'm just getting started. I don't think Cassie. Sorry, I'll try to start that up again. <laughs> <laughs> she was me. really sweet yeah. and she let me get away with a lot, but I was like, she I was know that she hates it when I smoke. And it came really. from like a, like she was just concerned. She was just, yeah. yeah. And then um, she just like maybe wouldn't, like we wouldn't make out as much. Oh, uh, while we were, like an yeah, that's a, yeah, So that's, that's like a good incentive astro. if you like smooch smooching. I like smooching. I like so smooching yeah. too. I kind of put it down and I got, I weaned off, but then we broke up and I'm like, Relapse. I've just been fucking mm -hmm. yeah, dude. smoking. I'm especially just driving that truck. I don't need her. Me. You've been smoking your heartache away, dude? Yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> it's a good way to do it. It's better than drinking it away. Yeah, you, I would agree. So, so just to agree. give you guys a, like behind the scenes, Dean pulled up to the, to the office in a big, huge truck. Rider van. Rider van with, it's like a refrigerated van box truck and just smoking a cigarette he's just backing up his Windows truck down. it was a beautiful it was a beautiful scene dude. felt good <laughs> yeah it felt good that's the man I was you listening want to, to the kennedy uh the kennedy speech which oh, one what we go to the moon not because it is easy but because, because it is hard, hard. <laughs> wow, just to get pumped up? Yeah. It's it, been, I've been listening to it before I go on stage recently. That's, really? that's super cool. And it's been gassing me up. Now, is it just nice. like the emotion, the emotionality of the speech? Or are you listening for like the cadence? Are you listening to anything like that? Or just I think his cadence in that um, in that whole speech is insanely impressive. He's got like two or three little like jokes. And then like the, the, the context of, of like the gravity of it, like Absolutely. what we're doing at that time. He's, he's talking not only to the populace of America, but he's talking to the Russia, fucking world. He's talking to China. He's talking to the scientists that are in that building. He's talking to the students that will become mm -hmm. the scientists that end up working at NASA and getting those rockets ready. Yeah. And he says shit like, like these scientists are working their ass off. We're going to be the first to go to the moon. And, um, and we're going to build a black box to do it. And then we're gonna, yeah, yeah. They're gonna fake the moon landing. Yeah, and then we're, I mean, he didn't let him know <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, behind the scenes. Yeah. He didn't let it all out of the bag. Do you think that we didn't go? No, we went. You think we went? Well, yeah. I think, I've seen the flags. I, we, yeah, yeah. I think we went eventually. <laughs> but I think okay. there was a First space, pass. there was a yeah. space race with Russia. And uh -huh. so they said, we can't let them, we cannot let Russia beat us. So we are gonna no fake it what. right now. No matter what. But we're not liars. So we're gonna actually go. Yeah. But for now, we're gonna lie and say we beat it so that Russia thinks we did. Yeah. That's what I think. But anyway, so the speech. I think, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just a. It's yeah, it's a great beginning speech. to end. It covers like multiple, like insanely well thought out, um, stuff. And he just he mentions Texas like six times. And gets me oh, brother, hey, hey, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Don't even get me. We started. were doing some fucking work out there in Houston. 
Yeah, 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 they really were. He talks yeah, about boys. it. He's talk about he talks about this the boys in Houston. City of Houston, mm-hmm. this state of Texas. Is he this in Texas? Country. Yeah, he's at Rice University, which I mean, he's is going to Dallas outside of Houston. Oh is, no, I don't. Think <laughs> I mean, he was. In I don't Dallas think that was the same trip. Was <laughs> no, it wasn't no. the same trip. <laughs> it was in 1961, is when he did the address at. Uh, oh, yeah, because well, um, he has like four predominant speeches. There's um, his uh, peace speech or his inauguration speech. That's where he says. Um, Fit Ask more. not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Fire. Um, fire and no, fire. Yeah, there's just so many good uh, charismatic on the, on the beginning and, and just, just like, amazingly yeah. charismatic. And you're Irish, right? Yeah. So, hey. so I mean, yeah, bro, pride me of the up. Irish, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, he's got like, Rice University. He's got like a couple more where he's addressing Russia specifically about the missile he's crisis. Their ass. And yeah. then he had an insane president, like from Cuban Missile Crisis. All right. the way. We, Maryland, There's plenty of white people Maryland, that have talked Maryland, about this Monroe, on the podcast. Yeah. Monroe. Now, okay, so he gave this speech in 61. When did the government shoot him in the head? Uh, Not long William after. Wallace pulled the trigger on him uh, in 64. Who's William Wallace? The guy from... Yeah, from Braveheart. Was it... It wasn't... Oh, uh, Lee uh, Harvey? Lee Harvey Oswald? No. no, no, so, no. It, yeah, I mean, he definitely it. shot him, but William Wallace was... Uh, the trigger man. Uh, the trigger man that Lyndon B. Johnson hired. Oh, fuck Shit, yeah. That's the one I'm on, dude. That's yeah. the one I'm on. I think I believe that one wholeheartedly. Well, yeah. LBJ was a mover and a shaker. And if, he had if a not, hog. And he had a fat hog. Called a jumbo. Hog. Big yeah. dick. In yeah. fact, yeah. and he would shit and make people have conferences with him. And he'd say the N word a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, this sure. guy. There's tapes. There's <laughs> tapes yeah. of him saying the N word. Absolutely. So, this yeah. That's kind of how he talked back then. I mean, he was he was an impressive man in, a, in, very, in a lot of different LBJ. ways. And I think mm-hmm. you're right. I think he did kill JFK. I think he was just the CIA used him as a. He's a Texas boy. He's got connections. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, my and God. And he knows people and knows how to get stuff moved around quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Knows uh, people who can shoot, too. Wow. And people like, dude, the, even. Even the fact that like people have stories of being on the grassy knoll and like having pictures and and video tapes and then like a minute after he gets shot there's already people in the crowd walking around grabbing cameras grabbing videos and smashing them wow it's like how do you know that quick and what are you trying to hide i wow yeah i never looked into it i just like so I need to I need to get William I need to go, Wallace. I need to go deep into moon landing. I need to go deep yeah. into JFK. Bro, listen to just I would say listen to that Rice University speech and yeah. uh, and then his uh, his inaugurational and the peace speech, those three. But the moon landing one's the best one. Okay, fire, fire absolute fire. Damn, dude. That's fun that you're uh, you're using that to pump you up. Some people listen to uh, Disturbed. Wow. I listen, listen to music. To... Okay. Yeah, I, I usually I used to listen to uh, Frank Sinatra. I just like mixing it up. Hey, nice. And this one is just like he's just such a powerful speaker. Yeah, and I thought I would get over it, but it's been like well, it's been like three months. Yeah, hey, I'm wow. trying to memorize the whole thing. I yeah. want to be able to. You're just gonna go out there one time and just do the entire yeah. thing, like at an open mic. <laughs> How just, long is this? That speech? would be awesome. Eighteen minutes. Okay, okay. maybe not. I got the minutes. first like five minutes. They're memorized. lighting you up. It's okay. Brother. Like, <laughs> I still got fucking twelve this minutes. This city of Houston. <laughs> this state of Texas. Absolutely. Is that how it, so- it starts? He it's starts. Uh, uh, yeah. How, um, how does it start? Give, give, give us a little bit. We meet at a college noted for knowledge. And a city noted for progress. Wait, is he rapping? And a state <laughs> noted for strength. And we stand in need of all three. For we made it an hour of change and challenge, and a decade of hope and fear, and, a, and, a, and an age of ignorance and knowledge. The greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds. Wow, dude. Um, and then it goes on from there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Awesome, dude. It's it, awesome. dude, it's, it's so... Um, like he get and then he starts talking about Texas and then he's got like a couple like riffs where he talks about he does crowd uh, work he does a little bit a little bit of crowd work dude hey, where are you from work in the middle yeah, yeah. Where hey, you from? where'd you hey, get uh, that fucking shirt hey, you with the tits app? you with the tits <laughs> you on the hey, you guys on the apps hey, it's crazy the out there <laughs> <laughs> yeah I bet I you're know, on dude. grinder you fucking I gay know, guy JK was a fucking uh, a hack <laughs> dude there's one where he's talking to uh to uh he's making a speech or he's giving a uh um like on the road campaigning. And a woman steps up and says, uh, hey, uh, you said you're going to do a lot of work for people of color and uh, and other uh, minorities. But what will you do? What have you set into uh, like motion for this candidacy uh, upon your uh, promises that you would help women uh, in, in voting uh, or in, uh, in work? And he goes, uh, well, I'm sure we haven't done enough. And uh, I'm glad that you brought it up. Like just like being just like mm-hmm. messing with her, the crowd loses their mind. Shit, they laugh their asses off. Wait, what's he saying? Yeah. I don't understand the subtext. Or, so well. you pull it up, pull it up. Oh. Uh, here, 
Um, th- this is I don't want to fe- fuck this part. I haven't memorized this part, but let's see. Let's see. Cracking mm. jokes on women's rights. Yeah, there it <laughs> is. Now we're talking, dude. <laughs> now you're finally on my page. The Democratic platform promises to work for equal rights for women, including equal pay. What have you done for the women? Well, I'm sure we haven't done enough, and uh... <laughs> you know, because it's never enough, dude. Yeah, oh, it's never enough. I'm a fucking idiot, dude. <laughs> I'm he a goes on to say, idiot. He goes on to say like a little bit more from there. Yeah, just, I'm, sure I'm sure we oh haven't God, done dude, enough. I'm sure we haven't done enough. Oh my God, dude, just lighting her up. It's never enough. <laughs> She's having trying to ask questions. <laughs> and then at the end of it, he like gives a good example, and and like he says it from the heart, uh, what he's doing. And then at the end, he goes, uh, and I want to thank you for uh, bringing it to my attention. <laughs> like, I got this Again. bitch. Listen. Yeah. So, I got it. All right, yeah. I got it. I got it. <laughs> That's great, dude. JFK, yeah. he was just, dude. He's we'll a never real get one. another one like him. No, no, no. Yeah, dude. Not. And he, he I mean, Marilyn Monroe. He was the Come dog. on, dude. Come on. He, also, he, he got yeah. that dog in him, dude. Yeah, he yes, was he fucking does. everything. And guess Even what? Like Mar- Marilyn Monroe's got that dog in her, too. Had. Had, had. that dog in her. Mm-hmm. Um, had it. You have some great stuff already on, on your YouTube. You basically... Dean takes these city boy comedians and yeah. makes them do a bunch of country ass oh. shit. And uh, I watched. And so far as well, make them. I think make them is uh, a I'm different. Uh, make them is not the right comedian. word. They they've Outdoor? all of these ideas have they come from. They want to understand. They've come from. They're just like, what can we do? Like uh, Spencer wanted to ride bulls, and uh, we had talked about it a few times with a few of the other comedians, and I was like, let me just put it all together. We'll film it and see what happens. Great. Yeah. And it's wild, dude. Yeah, this one's uh, comedians uh, on bulls. So many of these comedians are like gone on to be like they're crushing at the mothership. Adam Miles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Zach Silverman's like crushing it in Austin. Spencer, Jack Timmons. And spoiler alert: Sam Castillo, past guest of Tummy Time, gets injured. On he, gets, <laughs> he gets fucked up. Fucked up. up. Wow. Yeah. On a bull. Bull. Yeah. yeah bull, bull. Oh, yeah, there's Chris Tan. Oh, Chris Tan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chris Chan. Chris Chan. Chan. I, I, don't don't dead name him from him to me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, if I'm just like, him no, every day. time I talk to him, I go, which one is it? And he goes, like, I, I don't, don't know, know. man. <laughs> Oh, there's Damn Spencer. Spence. Dude, Chris Damn Fitch. Spence, is that your shirt? <laughs> is that your shirt, Dean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is this is a great this is a great thing, dude. And this you, is awesome. And you've also done what's the fish wrestling? What's it called? Noodling. Noodling, noodling. Uh, okay. Yeah. We go noodling catfish. We can catch a couple fifty pounders. Shit. Which is rare to yeah, find on yeah. a day. Uh <sighs> Bro, just pulling them out of the water. I damn near died. Yeah, oh, the catfish real. rodeo is what you call it. Catfish right? rodeo, yeah. That's fun. That confused. was Tom Airbars. Yeah, so go check this out, guys. This yeah, is, awesome is awesome stuff. Um, yeah, they never really took off, but I it was just something that I'm like, I never, I didn't design them for them to take off. I never really wanted anything more than what we did, which is go out there, have fun. Yeah, and, no, it's fun. It's a nice time capsule for you guys. Yeah. Also. I think people pick up on this. I do too. They're I just, think it's a great like sample. If, if if anyone ever, I don't know if I want to, like, I don't know. You want to keep doing it? Like diners, drives, and dash, and you just all, all you do is this shit. I would if somebody threw a lot of money at me. Right. Yeah. Like tens of thousands of dollars. But yeah, you I had like t- you had. What if two they bought pi- you a Miata and in exchange you had to go and do this? Shit? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> listen for the price of a Miata. You Bro, can have people out there with this. money. Let's party. Yeah, let's do it, dude. Do this fucking shit. No, you have basically two pilots that you could show to someone if they if if they ever wanted you to look at it. So it's I think it's great. Yeah. Well, uh, so I, I think I mentioned it when I messaged you. We do like to talk about embarrassing stories from growing up on the podcast. Did any come to mind? Did you think? Did you? Um, I, know I mean, I got a, I got plenty of embarrassing stories. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think um, one time I was fishing and uh, in Baffin Bay. Oh yeah. Uh, so it's like right there between Corpus and like South Padre and North Padre. Right in the middle is Baffin Bay. Okay. And it's known for having like insanely good redfish and trout, all this stuff. I was 15 years old and I was fishing with my grandpa and his friends. And what you do is you park the boat and then you get out and you go walk around and you go fishing because the boat, it's like a big, and only so many people can cast from the boat. So you get out and you wade. So I was wading and I had shorts on like this and uh, I was in the water. You know how you have those like air bubbles Mm -hmm. sometimes? Mm -hmm. Well, I was in the water and I was up to like my chest casting, catching fish, having a great time. And, uh, I felt like one of those air bubbles. I kind of like moved like that, and it was a jellyfish. Oh, oh no! And I didn't realize until like the top of the head came up, and then I started to feel it on my legs. And then I was like, "It feels like you get bit." And so I yanked, and I started reeling and reeling, and I started backing up. Like, what the fuck is going on? It starts building more, and as it, as I get higher and higher up on the bank, like up uh, where it's shallow, 
um, the jellyfish goes in this side and then drags down oh, that side to no. just all over my balls. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 it dragged its legs across the, over the like, it like went from in this, this side, side to that side. And then it fell out oh, that side. Oh, no. no. And didn't even like fall out. It was like hanging there. It was grabbing <sighs> on. And, and so I immediately, um, you have like a rod holder in your belt. And so I get, I get my, my bait up. I stick it in the rod belt and I just drop my pants and I figured out it's a jellyfish and I'm mm -hmm. like, this isn't good. And so I rip all of the, like the tentacles, all the stuff. I'm, I'm like washing it off, washing it off. They're like 30 yards ahead of me. Uh -huh. And I'm just down there just like, <laughs> like dick and balls. balls and stuff. Yeah. And there's like four or five other people out fishing. Uh -huh. And I, do, you don't, I, the pain was so bad that I wasn't even like comprehending no. what was no, going on. No, no, no. Oh, like, not. who cares what people see? It's yeah. like, you got to take Plus care it's of this. swollen. Just this 15 year old boy that's just fucking, I mean, red. White as mayonnaise. Yeah. And then just Big red. Old yeah. Just a massive red dick. <laughs> no. <laughs> it stingers. Not it, even it the does that thing when it's out. cold, dude. It, yeah. it did that thing where it's like, oh, oh it's like inside. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's not inside but it's fucking yeah, dude it's, inside. it's fucking it's it's getting it's smaller cold, okay? for sure yeah. <laughs> and then i go to the I, I run to the boat and they're laughing their asses off at me and uh, i take just beer cans and i stick them on it which makes it even more cold you know yeah, makes yeah. it even more small oh yeah so they get back to the boat and i'm not even think about it but i'm just rubbing my little cock <laughs> between these two cold <laughs> beers yeah. with bush lights <laughs> <laughs> shoving it in my gooch <laughs> it hurts so bad. Yeah. and then and then your uh, your grandpa peed on your balls right no <laughs> oh, okay my grandpa they called me uh they called me mayonnaise ass Oh yeah. After that, still. Oh, because every time I see it, yeah, yeah, I got a little pasty little ass. Dang, dude. That's why you're out here sunning it now. And I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, Dang, uh, man. But that was probably from my childhood. I mean, there's plenty of other. Yeah. Worse ones, but like he can't drink the beer, so he's fuck out here fucking it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was fucking beer. Was fucking beer. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> dude, <laughs> that sucks so bad. How long did it take for it to? It just... was that night. Okay. And then that's good. Um, Meat the rash. Or or? Oh yeah. Oh, the rash a, on it was. There's an after rash. I didn't uh, know that. Because it's between it's your cool legs. Light. It's yeah. like a the worst place to get something. Yeah, in your balls. When you're walking, and then you're just having to walk. And so I just stood at. I stayed at the boat, and then was just like rubbing ice on it, and they would like go out, and I try to go out, and they would just like. I mean, it was like bleeding. Oh. Uh, between my legs got really bad, and Jeez. then um, I think it was like a like a week at school, just like sitting down and putting lotion on it and stuff, and mm -hmm. it cleared up. Okay. Damn, but it was. Dude. Yeah, yeah nobody worst. was. Look, I was fifteen. Nobody was touching it anyway. Uh, that's true. Yeah, well, you were though, and that yeah. probably put you back a couple days. I don't even. I can honestly remember Did you not beating my meat for like three weeks. Oh wow, uh, that must have been pretty bad then. Yeah, yeah. Was, the one you got after that was just the densest. Oh, that nut was. <laughs> you just, were edging. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you <laughs> were. You were uh, no nut. That was your no nut yeah, November, dude. dude. Forcibly. Forcibly. Remember being like fifteen and not jacking off for like dude, a week. You, you go crazy. You would just. I would legitimately lose my mind. Yeah. Yeah. The only. I mean, I there's so much evil in there. So much evil. You have to drain it. Gotta drop these balls. Dude. Get out of here! It's starting to growl. <laughs> <laughs> Just wake up in the morning, <laughs> all, and then you're on all fours by the time of the end the of the bus week. Bus driver yeah, starts exactly. looking real hot. Like, yeah, 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 damn, okay. dude, damn, Darlene. Uh, I bet Darlene. if I stay here in the bus, she'd fucking no, mm -hmm. she'd slob my nose. Mm -hmm. she'd bus grab, she'd grab it like a stop sign handle. Oh, dude. That, 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 oh yeah. Every time she grabs yeah, the, this thing, oh, you're the, like, ah, oh, that could be me. The door handle. <laughs> yeah, that could be me. <laughs> oh, dude, I never even thought about that. That She's grip. got grip, dude. She's got, She's got real got grip. Kung fu grip. It is crazy that the only thing that can stop a 15 year old Dean Stanfield from touching his dick is to have a uh, jellyfish. Jelly jelly yeah. yeah. Good God, man. Well, glad that you survived that. Yep. Um, oh, this is it. Hey, try, try uh, one of these bad boys. Dude. Are you dude, are you Drinking sponsored by Rambler? They're the boys, dude. They're the homies. They're the boys. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, then this is perfect. Yeah. So you, this is from you. Helped make a documentary called Never Going to Make It. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. never coming out. <laughs> oh, it's like it's never coming out? <laughs> it might. Darian's okay. like still working on it. Gotcha. Uh, it was a nightmare. With Mike Eaton, right? Yeah, because the car broke down. And, and then he went over no, the handlebars. No, wait, did the car bars, break down? He? he went over the handlebars. He went over the handlebars. He crashed late much, at night. Too much wind, We yeah. took him to the, uh, well, I th we think he hit a pothole. Uh, but he well, was just it was like at four at in the morning and probably damn, tired dude. and he was he was so tired and yeah. dehydrated and and not not doing well right he would have made it had he taken had we taken a little more precaution and and you know and done a better job Do you we just were so time, underprepared though, you? and yeah. running on like time and he just his mental toughness was so impressive that yeah. it got to the point where I was like, I had, I mean, I was, he called me a bitch multiple times <laughs> on this thing. Cause I'm like, dude, I don't think you should be smoking cigarettes, eating Taco Bell and staying out it was 18 hours a day. And he would sleep for an hour. 
Uh, and then hop yeah. on his bike and go. And then get up and just wow. take but the it was fuck just worried off. Cause, wow. So Darian, is, what, what's his last name again? Irwin. Darian Irwin was... Powers. Huh? No, Darian Irwin. Darian Irwin, he was uh, riding a bike from Austin to Vegas to do Skank Fest. Yeah, the comedy festival. Yeah, the comedy festival, Skank Fest. And um, what, he, was he just worried he wasn't going to make it? So he he was he couldn't sleep? Or Here's the deal. Uh, and I don't I don't know how much of it would like I don't, it's not like shit talking, but it's like he was ahead of schedule. Uh, he just mentally in his mind he's like, I'm he'd done do so much. We could be there already if I just kept going. He just had that in yeah, his yeah. head, and he yeah. had that like uh, that David Goggins mindset: just keep going, keep going. Yeah. Yeah. and he did. He made it all the way two hundred miles away from our goal, Fuck. and fucking crashed. Oh, that yeah. sucks. And when I picked him up off the side of the road, like I had to, I got there. He was in the middle of the road. Eighteen wheelers are flying past. Shit, and I had to get out. Of the car and pick him up. He's not fucking light. No, no. But his his shoulder is out of place. Ugh. We thought about setting it, resetting it and there going. in the field, and I was like, "Do we need to get you to a hospital?" Yeah. But if I, because if I'd have reset his shoulder, he would have got back on that bike and kept. Oh, going. absolutely. Good, good point. But he, we, we got him to the hospital, and it was just from there, it just went downhill. Yeah, we tried sucks. to make something out of it, but the, the 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 bummer part is there's a in, there's a lot of intense like footage that we have, insanely good photos, shots of stuff. But he just doesn't make it. Well, you know, I think that's the part. That, that is the interesting. Part. But here, and not all of us don't look good. Like I'm running on like three hours of sleep. Yeah. And after the whole... after the crash, we start fighting. Oh yeah. yeah. And oh, we, you're saying you don't look good if like someone parsing out like yeah. it'd be, like. But that makes. I mean, it's it's, it's, a, it's a tough it's a tough thing to do. It's an al analogy for the entire like comedy thing, right? Yeah. To where you're not always going to make it. You're not In always going to make it, dude. You mo you won't. Sometimes you won't. Sometimes statistically. You won't. Well, statistically, here's, you're not here's going my to. idea for but an that ending. That doesn't stop you from doing it. You can Amen. do. It. Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. These are, these are things that yeah. We, that, we, that to me is like the whole message. It's just like but, if he made it, it would feel good too. But I mean, like this is just, this is more. Bro, he poured his powerful. every ounce of his heart, yeah. and I'm we have we've had our like differences since then because we, dude, it messed me up. I was bad. Like when the two days after he crashed, we were just not doing anything, and me and Mike Eaton got. Black. And I'd gone on maybe an eight month stretch of no alcohol. I was doing really good. I was smoking a little pot, but I was doing no alcohol. And yeah, I was right. feeling great, feeling amazing. This trip, I had like a couple of drinks, a couple of nights, was doing great. And then when we all decided to fuck it, like Call me it. and Mike, we got blackout drunk at a, at a uh, I did, Mike pretty close to me, uh, at a sushi restaurant. Oh. And then uh, went to an observatory and I definitely got naked. <laughs> Right at these and territory? touched and touched million dollars worth of of uh, of like equipment? Uh, telescope equipment. <laughs> yeah, good. That makes and, sense. With what? <laughs> uh, not with my. So I, I got naked outside when I went to pee. I went and but I'm just blackout, so it's like there's no I there's no explaining it. But I walked outside to pee, and there's like it's an observatory, so there's like families around. Yeah. Um, no, like kids, like kid yeah. kids, but there's right. like you know there's people around, and I go to a fence and just pull my pants down and start peeing. You know, oh yeah, sure. you oh know with your whole, with your pants all the way down with your uh, mayo ass enough. out with my mayo ass out, uh, <laughs> and it was like behind a sign, so maybe some people could have seen Sorry. it, some people couldn't have. Okay. But I've just hammered, walking around looking at telescopes and shit. But just like I was so mentally unhinged, yeah. By the end of all of that, that I just like when I broke, I broke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and none of that's on camera, none of that's on film. But they're like, we talk about it for sure, and they're yeah. like, Dean fucking, and it, it makes me look not great. Sure, <laughs> yeah, but sure. You know, but it's, it's a hard thing. It's a hard thing. But yeah. here's the, here's the thing. Enough time passes. I'm like, that was an old guy. That was. <laughs> that, that, that's that's me. not me. That's not me. But dude. I think yeah. what you could do is you could talk about this stuff on camera. You could also make a trip out to 200 mi 200 miles away from Vegas and just as sort of a thing, you could just say, let Darian do that last 200 miles, even though yeah. he didn't make it then. I mean, just as, I don't know. I'm just spitballing, spitballing on some way to end it to where it's not. It's a little bittersweet. Yeah. Like he, he did finish it. It wasn't like yeah. You could fest. show how how close it actually was mm -hmm. to the finish line. And we did things like uh, the last couple of days because we had we had like 16 days to get there. He crashes on day 14. So we had like two days of, of like till we had to be at Skank Fest. And so we got him out of the hospital and we started taking off down the road. And we stopped at that observatory for a day and, and we stopped in uh, uh, right outside of Vegas, Kingsland, I think. And we just like, we're just like sitting out there and just bullshitting. And we went out into the desert and did like confessionals. Oh, we like fun. put the that's camera on and just talked about how we were feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we're like when we were there, we were like emotionally at like a, a twelve. Right. So like I'm almost like Fuck Yeah, a lot of it was him. fucking stupid. He didn't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I know yeah. best, you know. Yeah. If he would have just listened to me, maybe he wouldn't have crashed. You know, take a little time off. He wouldn't sleep. He was smoking cigarettes. Like I just 
bitching. Yeah. And I'm like, I look back and I'm like, I wish I'd have had a couple of days to like cool down. Yeah. Because I talked a lot of shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, if they, if they finish the movie, it'd be nice for them to interview you now with some hindsight. And you could yeah. say, yeah, I got a little heated, but this is how I feel now yeah. that I have some distance away from it. For sure. I think that'd be cool. I, I Honestly, this whole story is it really great. interesting. It so really I is. hope you finish. I hope they finish the movie because uh, yeah. even though he didn't make it, like Neil was saying, I think it'd be a cool yeah, cool thing. and it's like if Darian wants to put it out, he's the one f- funding it. Yeah, and so if he wants to, he's got to find another director, um, and, and an editor, and they got yeah. they got a lot of work to do. But yeah, if they put it out, it'll be interesting. It'll be sure. cool. Yeah. And uh, most importantly, Rambler, you know, you got to get Bro, this delicious drink. treats, dude. Shout, Shout out, out. Shout <laughs> out. My favorite. That's what it all started. Is is you? Uh, what's it called? Shotgun. Shotgunning a. No, is that what it's called? Shotgun. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. It's been a long time since I've shotgunned something. So, <laughs> but shotgunning some sparkling water, bro. I drink a ton of these. I drink a 12 pack at least every couple of days. Yeah, you wow. brought a whole 12 pack here today. Yeah, for the boys. For the boys. I, I might have to that. grab one. Yeah, why not? Well, uh, where can people find you there, Dean? Uh, Dean A. Stanfield on Instagram is about the best place. That's where right. I post most of my stuff. Um, you working on anything else? Yeah, I got the. Oh, the podcast. So the, there you go. Okay. Podcast. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Uh, I've been working on getting that out. Um, I've had a few different ideas for the pod. I've talked about it a lot, and I just haven't released anything. The goal is April. And um, I think Matt Boyd and I have an, a good idea of what we're doing. And I want to get like three or four episodes banked on this new idea and stick with the new idea. And yeah. then I want to go back and release the other episodes as like stints. Because there's like I cover the Kennedy uh, stuff. Cool. I cover like just a deep dive on how I feel about the speeches. And it was great and I'm passionate about it. But then like four episodes go by and I'm like, I'm on a Kennedy speech. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah. I've gone about? through all four <laughs> of them. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I can listen to other presidential speeches, but they suck. Yeah, yeah. they're not. They're not. I try to listen to like even like Bush, Biden, Joe, uh, Trump, dude. He's got Trump. some good ones, dude. <laughs> He's got, He's got good some ones, good but it's ones. like everybody's yeah. covered it. He's just no, you're shit right. talking. You're right. Yeah, and it's just like I don't want to. It's not inspirational. Yeah. It's not inspirational. <laughs> it's, it's not, not inspirational. It's not a unity message at all. Barack has a couple, but he's just <laughs> yeah. He's being Barack. <sighs> he's being Barack. Yeah. yeah. So everybody like, understands you're cool. It's cool, man. Yeah, dude. Like, it's <laughs> yeah, fine. we get it. I like him. He's great. Absolutely, he's a great speaker. But it's just like. It's just too much. Right. A little bit. Yeah. Gotcha. So, well, <laughs> it, it's, it's going to be called Dean's House, right? Dean's House. So, yep. it's awesome. Check, watch out for uh, Dean's House. And uh, where can they find us? Got a website, tummytime.tv. We're on Tummy Time TV across social networks at Tummy Time Pod on Facebook. And, oh, yeah, find us on True Social, Tummy Please. Time TV over there. Join the militia. Suit up. Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw, brother. <laughs> can we tell Spencer Cabins to go fuck himself? Yeah. Spence. Uh, Spence. Oh, did everything? Oh, no, we're still oh, going. We're still going? We're okay, still going. so Spencer Cavins suck our dicks. Spencer it's P- Cavins. Cavins. Ca- no, no, it's, it's Cavins. Cavins. He told us Cavins. <laughs> Your best uh, friend told us Cavins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It, Fuck you, Spencer Cavins. <laughs> Fuck you, Spencer Cavins. Yeah, and we'll Cavins. see you next tummy time. Bye-bye. <laughs>